Tonight we're going to be staying in one of the few capsule hotels in Shenzhen, China, located in Gansha. Chinese capsule hotel. This is actually the first time I've ever stayed inside one, so I was actually super excited about it. After speaking to the lovely lady at check-in, we were directed to this cupboard to pick up disposable toothbrushes, and then we were showed down to our rooms. Obviously, I've got to be annoying and stop up at the water fountain because some reason, even though I'm not thirsty, whenever I see one, I have to use it. I'm pressing the cool option. There's always a hot one because a lot of people in China drink hot water, and then it says cool, but that's warm absolute outrage I launched the cup of water at the wall and carried on to my room not before another quick little stop uh, we were directed to get some pretty suave one size fits all slippers before we go into the room the tension was building the excitement was overwhelming and there we go just like that the grand reveal <laughs> in all honesty a little bit more crammed and a little bit more messy than i was expecting but i was buzzing to get into the pod still climb up this cute little ladder and voila the masterpiece is revealed in six foot i'm kind of on the bigger side than most chinese people and it was more than spacious enough for me this is me after discovering that there was somebody else in the pod below me that was actually asleep at 5 pm as it turns out he wasn't the happiest of people banging on the ceiling telling me to shush Personally, I wouldn't choose a hotel with 12 people in each room if I wanted a quiet sleep at 5 p.m., but each to their own. Not one, but two pillows, which I'm extremely happy about. Anyway, we went out, came back a little later, and it was time to brush my teeth in the toilets. I mean, they were fine, they had everything you need, toilet, shower, sink, but at the same time, they kind of stunk. You ain't gotta tell me, I know exactly what you're thinking. I'll put a link below as to where you can find my designer wash bag. Up and coming, my biggest regret of 2019. Absolutely terrible news. Brush of the teeth, then it's time to check the room out. Ho oh, ho, what a sight. Hole in the floor, get those quads looking top notch, but I think Barry Scott needs to pay a visit in this one. And next up, time for the showers. Oh, wonderful, nice colourful mat, but uh, mm, questionable. It's a place to get you clean, that's all that matters. <laughs> I think I speak for everyone when I say why on earth is that a frosted glass door? Now it's time to show you we're on the pot because this part was pretty impressive. Before your eyes is the madness that is the cockpit's control panel with this mystical blue lighting that's inside them. Let's just give you a quick run through of what the control panel does without getting too excited about things. So that was the door lock button so that no monsters can come and grab me within the night and this is the sleep switch which is pretty self-explanatory. Well, there was four different customizable lights which were all touch screen. You could press like five different levels on how bright you wanted them. Um, there was a mirror light and there was a, a space blue light as well as two reading lights and Don't try and catch me out and say that I was playing with them for at least 15 minutes Two USB ports as well as a multi plug socket Which we can all be thankful for because you can never have enough places to charge things especially when you're filming They really went all in with being thoughtful They left a speaker in the pod for some music and a can of spray paint just in case you wanted to leave your mark Here's me demonstrating how to put a bag onto a hanger just in case you didn't know how we have two funky looking devices that keep your body a nice temperature frantically trying to discover how to turn the 6 a.m alarm off in my pod or i definitely would have been throwing my toys out the pram we didn't actually get a code to the safe which was uh, extremely unfortunate because i could have done with leaving my kilo of diamonds in there but instead i had to lug them around everywhere the mattress was surprisingly good it was really soft it was nice to lie on ah yes this one brings back a few memories probably double figure attempts now in trying to put these headphones on with one hand but as you can see I was kind of excited about doing it <laughs> and the TV pops down as if I'm in Hogwarts but unfortunately obviously it's Chinese TV can't understand a single thing other than the word Ni Hao so sadly it was put back away by this time it was midnight and after all the excitement and fun I was having inside the capsule it was time to get some well-earned rest 
And that was my first stay in a capsule hotel. Roll morning clip. That concludes our stay in uh, Singyu Capsule Hotel. How did you feel about it? Would you stay there again? Um, I would, and it's okay for the money, but it's not the best. Um, it could, it, there's a lot of improvements could be made there, but it's okay for the money. Yeah, the uh, the pods were okay, but the bathroom was uh, questionable. Anyway, it was good for the money. Only 80 yuan, which is about 10 US dollars or so. So um, I'd stay there again. But anyway, that'll be the end of the video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already and drop those bells. And, and as always, until next time.